see I scribbled. That's supposed to be an F. It's upside down on the camera here, but uh, I can see it. Just enough so that uh, it tells me which direction it's going to go back in. There's some buildup on this rod here. So this whole thing is probably going to get need to get soaked. So my best bet really is probably to get an awl and just scribe a little mark on that connecting rod so I know because I'm going to end up having to take this all apart. I don't really want to do that, but I'm probably not going to pull these wrist pin retaining wires out. But what I'll do is I'll soak this in some acetone and at least get this stuff softened up enough so I can uh, use a little toothbrush, old toothbrush or Q-tips or something. I'll get that thing cleaned up without actually having to pull these wrist pin wires out because I really don't want to do that. I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably not. I just lightly scribed the letter F. It's going to be upside down. I scribed the letter F right there on this connecting rod. Even though I'm not taking it apart, I just want to make sure I know which way is which. It looks pretty symmetrical though. It looks like uh, maybe the oil hole on the connecting rod. I don't know, it looks like they're both on either side, so can't really go by that. There's one on either side, and it's symmetrical. Usually there's they're machined in such a way so you can tell, or sometimes they'll have a mark on there already, but this one doesn't, and this piston looks pretty good, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop it in my little container of acetone and let the acetone start to work on a little bit. Timing case here, you recall I had that uh, soaking in some acetone, and the acetone really dries this thing out, so when this is done, any of these steel parts, I'm going to soak in uh, basically what it's a generic brand of CLR, calcium lime rust remover, and it'll clean these parts up really nice. It's okay to use on the steel parts. I don't really want to use it on the aluminum because it tends to discolor the aluminum. It doesn't damage the aluminum. It'll eat any finish off that's on the aluminum, but I don't know that there's any finish on these. But uh, So I end up having to tap this thing out. Took a bit of a little bit of tapping, but I want to show you, first of all, how rusty that thing is. And you can see the cam lobes on this here and here. Kind of rusty. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I could go through and remove this screw, these three screws. But I'm really not going to go down to that level. I don't really think there's a need to take that thing off completely. If I soak this in a CLR for about an hour or so, it'll clean that up. The only kicker with the CLR is as soon as you take that out, I always drop in either acetone or isopropyl alcohol, rinse that stuff off real good, and make sure I've got some 3-in-1 oil or some other really nice oil to put all over that part to coat it good and keep it in oil until I start to put it back together because as soon as that CLR hits it and the air hits it, it'll start to rust again right away just like this acetone is kind of making it look. It won't be rusty after I put it in the CLR but you can see there's this area on these OS engines is kind of a kind of a bad area because not a whole lot of lubrication gets in there and they tend to get really nasty pretty easily and this the engine doesn't have a lot of run time on it but it's already pretty darn nasty in here and I think I am going to end up having to invest in a set of bearings because I just don't know if I want to trust these. The other thing is these uh, cam followers here. They are, I think there is one for exhaust and I don't know, maybe they're exactly the same. All I know is last time I took one of these things apart it was kind of a pain because you push those things out. And they're hard to get back in. Let me see. It looks like there's a difference between the two. Too late now because I've got them mixed up. But you end up having to stick them back inside these offset holes. That can be kind of a pain. It's hard to feel. That bearing doesn't feel too bad. I might be able to get away with just cleaning that up, but. This whole area here is going to need to be cleaned really well. I may end up just using a toothbrush 
with some CLR and trying to clean that up. I'm not really sure. I don't really want to dump this whole aluminum piece in that stuff, but I may end up having to because this is pretty nasty looking stuff here.